Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 56 of Darwell20's All the Mods 8 Let's Play, uh, where today I'm ready to do a little bit of experimenting and testing uh, with, with this stuff. Uh, so I was just doing a little bit of off-camera testing to figure out how things work, and I figured out you want multiple extractors on your air reservoir. Uh, and let me demonstrate that for you. Uh, so if I were to just have one extractor, actually, if I just remove you and you, this should simulate having one extractor, right? So at this point, I'm only extracting on the bottom because these guys are extracting, but they're not connected to the pipes. So if we look at the amount of air element in here, you'll see it dropping. See that? So it can't keep up. Wah, wah, wah. And this guy uh, is possibly also at an amount of zero. Oh, you are at an amount of zero. Why is that? You shouldn't be. Should be at least. Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe this one's running. That's why. This one's getting the air. Yeah, there's your problem. Uh, so let me reconnect this guy and extract. And then he should be filling back up at some point, one of these two. Yep, that one's filling up now. See it? And then this one's going to fill up next. So the long and the short of it is um, there's a limit to how much element can be extracted uh, per pipe. And you want to be cognizant of that. So if you have a big system like I have here, you're going to want multiple extractors on your air element reservoir. Okay? So just, you know, be aware of that. Uh, now, in fairness, I've got one on the bottom and I've got one, two, three, four on the side. So a total of five. Technically, I could have a few more going on on some other sides, but I don't know that I need that many more. Uh, and then now I'm going to remove this guy. Cool. And then I can put my upgrade here back and then you should be going also i will note that if there's no block in front of the overload shrine to overload it doesn't use air so these two are not using air element at the moment and there was a tile entity here it was the reader uh from integrated dynamics and it was being thick accelerated even though you would never know it because you know that mod doesn't you know it already works every tick so um it was using air because i had that lock there so at this point it's no longer using air so that's cool so uh let's let's pop this guy down and um let's see i want uh from hostile neural networks we have another wither data model we do and that's a basic one so let's get um do we have a good level yeah you're that so let's swap you two out and then i can put you in here and now you should be running because I've got on the down, actually two yellows went in there. I shouldn't have had that. Uh, insert white, extract orange, insert energy. And now all three should be running at a really fast pace. So effectively what we've done is these three are tripling what I had upstairs earlier. And then this is like a fourth. So we basically forexed, if you will, uh, the generation of nether stars. And that will hopefully be enough uh, to get me lots and lots of nether stars. We're already at 50,000, so we're actually doing really nice. And then once we have enough nether stars, if it turns out, hey, there's another thing I need to tick accelerate, all I got to do is bring it in and put it down here. I've got two empty ones right now, and I could even replace these at some point if I needed to. Does that all sound super cool? I hope so, because it looks pretty good to me. And I'm hoping that you guys are like, yeah, Dyer, this was fun to watch me. So that's uh, what I got going, right? Everybody's cooking, everybody's doing good. We have a couple uh, of these guys are not quite at their 95% accuracy just yet. So it'll take a while for them to catch up, um, especially this one, which I just inserted. It's only at 6%, but it'll eventually get there. Um, and then these guys will get to that 95% mark. Pretty. Uh, these two already did actually get to 95%. Um, so we'll just let them cook and eventually lots of nether stars. Deal. And then if we need other mob drops we could always swap them out right we could always like throw a slime thing in there give it five minutes and we'll have you know slime for days so uh with that said i think it might be time to get into create who wants to do create i want to do create i would i would very much like to do create i like create creates a fun mod so that's what we're going to do today i'm gonna uh clear out a large swath of land uh using my destruction gadget and we'll we'll designate a place for create shenanigans. Uh, we're gonna, as you know, need large amounts of space for create. But the goal for today 
is just to get into Create, start with some initial uh, contraptions and, and, and gadgets and machinery so that we can get to the point where we can start doing things like the mechanical crafters. So we're going to need, uh, you know, polished quartz. Uh, you know, may or may not automate that. Probably might do it just because it would be fun. Uh, brass, I think we could automate with Create if we wanted to. We could set up, you know, some of these things. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out together. I might... I don't know. We'll have to see how brass is made. Uh, it looks like there's a brass dust, which is just copper and zinc. So that might be doable. That might not be too bad. We'll figure it out. But let's get into Create today. Let's do, um, you know, the all the fun things from Create because it's such a good mod. And I want to I want to I want to have a good time with it. Cool. So let's put away some junk that we don't need. And because I'm not going to need most of this, uh, there's not really a book for Create. So that's fine. Uh, and then I'll swap you out and put you there where you belong. Cool. And let's uh, let me let me clean up some terrain and I'll be I'll be back. Is that cool? Is that fair? Be right back. All right. How's this look? Not a bad start. Uh, nice big open terrain area to do some create contraptioning in. So let's get to work. Um, so the first thing I want to get, and I'm not sure if I can get it yet. Uh, but I'd like to be able to get it if I can. Uh, I know I, it's been a while since I've done too much create, right? It's, uh, when was the last time I did it? Uh, back in stone block was probably the last time I did any significant create. Uh, so I know we, we, we'd like to get a steam engine if I can. Uh, so in order to get that, um, we're going to need some, some fluid tanks. We're going to need, uh, the steam engine itself. And then we're going to need uh, some burners underneath it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. So we can start with campfires if we wanted to. That'll give us a small amount of rotational force, and then we can work our way up to the better ones. That sounds like a plan. So how about I do this? Let me go through Create and start programming my refined storage system to auto-craft all the things I might want to make from Create. Uh, so that'll be things like shafts, um, and the andesite alloys, right? So that's just iron nuggets, that should be fine. I might wanna teach you how to make andesite itself, which I can hopefully make with uh, Mr. Flower Culture stuff. Uh, and then we'll get things like this and yada, yada, yada. Cool, so let me come back in just a minute and I will have all this ready to go, cool. Now, does this guy require, yeah, he does. All right, that's a little bit more of a hassle. All right, so my thoughts are, let's start over here uh, so if we look at create, uh, I don't think we're going to need a ton of steam engines, but we definitely want the four of you. And we'll start with campfires, which is admittedly a pretty small amount uh, of stuff. So we're going to want the fluid tanks. Uh, we're going to want some fluid pipes from create. Uh, we're definitely going to want a couple mechanical pumps. Uh, we're going to want at least a stack of you. Oh, we're missing quartz essence. All right. That's all right. Let's see. Is there another way to get... Uh, andesite from things uh, i could do it this way diorite's going to also require quartz. I could probably, yeah there might be a way to go this would be a much better if i stored quartz essence i think right now i'm just exporting all my quartz essence is that right i could store it and then craft on demand the quartz that i need right because one of these guys is doing nether quartz right so what if we removed nether quartz essence from here Right, and then we told it that quartz oh, essence gets a home. And functional storage, how about just, uh, actually let's do, let's do, let's do one of these. That seems like a really large number. I like that number. and then put it back and then we're cool, right? And then we should be good to go uh, for create. So I should be able to make a stack of these, no problem now, boom. That's what's up. Okay, uh, snag this, snag this. Make a stack of each of these. And then we should look into a way to automate this. We're gonna need to do that with a deployer. Uh, and an andesite alloy on some kind of some kind of log. So any stripped logs will do, or stripped wood. Um, 
I'll uh, I'll automate that after we get create up and running. How's that sound? Fair. Yeah, because I want to automate that with create. If it, if it, if create needs it, I want to automate it with create uh, as best as I can. Right. A few things I'm already like plates. I already have two mods making plates, so I'm probably not gonna do that. I'll just use them. And then campfires, uh, we're gonna want for them. Cool. Okay. And then we're going to want the steam engine. Control click, and it's making the gold plate with uh, that, and that's cool. And if I remember correctly, I want to do something like this, or no? What goes on the end of the steam engine? Is there something? I thought it, like, auto... What goes there? Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. And now we're good to go with that. Nice. All right. Now, don't you... I want the goggles from Create, right? To tell me what's going on. Where's those Create Engineer goggles? I think they're called. There they are. Now, is there a, one of these slots for it? Is this a Curio? Slot Head. Well, I could probably just do this for the time being. There we go. Boiler status idle. Size, heat, and water. So remember, uh, size obviously is, is measured by the number of fluid tanks you put in there. Heat is how much heat is being applied at the bottom. Right now it's tier one heat because it's campfires, but eventually we'll we'll do the, the burners that will be higher heat. And then for this level, we only need a little bit of water coming in. Um, so let's just get a uh, water bucket times two. Actually, I think I got you. Right, and then we're gonna want our pump. Mechanical pump can sit here. Well, actually, I think what we want is the mechanical pump to sit here. I'm trying to remember how this works. I think you just want um, Maybe I want this to be lower. And then the pipes like that. Now, if I give you rotational energy, will you be good? We'll find out. So we're going to want a crank, a hand crank. In theory, you should be pumping water. I think that's working. We might need a little bit more. What I might need to do... Is something like this. See how that's faster now? Yes, I see you, witch. I am choosing to ignore you, but you are making it very difficult. Oh my go. All right, let's see if this is gonna behave itself now. Is that enough water to get this thing going? No, because we're going the wrong way. So let's get the create wrench. There we go. Now you should probably, well, hear like a little sound or something. There it goes. Use a steam engine to generate torque. Nice, all right, cool. So now he's rotating and we're good to go. Nice, all right, that's cool. All right, now let's get, uh, I'm gonna get a few oak logs and use my thing here. Can I do this with this? I can, nice. And then some andesite doohickeys.
all the achievements. Cool. And then I should be able to get some gearboxes, right? Beautiful. So what we're going to want to do is you to a gearbox like that. So in theory, now that may not be fast enough, so we'll probably have to actually have you go into this guy. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking, right? We have this crank a large cog wheel into a small, and then we do this, and then that's a large into a small, and that should be pretty good. And then if I wanted to, I could throw a crank on you. Not too much stress. Maybe too many large to smalls. Let's see if you're going to behave once I do this. If I put the crank on this side, it should be cool, right? That should be a good way to start it. And now he should keep running? Maybe? Maybe? That might be good. That might be good. All right, cool. And then what's my stress looking like? 2048 at current speed is what you can produce capacity-wise. Cool. And you're using 256. Nice. All right, that works. That works. Uh, and I can measure the stress with a stressometer, which needs a speedometer, which needs one of these. So let's get a speedometer and then turn it into a stressometer. And if we're quick with it, we should be able to see. Aha! Nice. Cool. All right. So that's step one, right? We've got basic going here. Now we can start building this off, and then once we get um, a couple more things put together, then we can uh, build this up and make it a much larger multi-block. But for now, that's a good starting point, I think. I think that looks good, right? Yeah, bring it, bring it, Dr. Saul. Oh, Dr. Saul. You, you tried to, to write a check that you could not cash, sir. All right, so now that this is cooking, uh, again, we can start it up manually with this guy, but I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's uh, let's move on to the next stage. So two things we're going to want to do. One, I wouldn't mind being able to make precision mechanisms, uh, which are made like this. Uh, that's going to need to loop five times, so repeat sequence five times through a sequence of deployers. Uh, in addition, I wouldn't mind making this, which is also a deployer setup. So let's get a couple deployers. Let's get a couple mechanical belts. And go from there. Now, in fairness, I don't think I have a lot of kelp going on, do I? Probably not. But can I make it? Oh, I can. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's go teach that recipe. So now we can say kelp. And then we can say dried kelp. Okay, and then we can say mechanical belts. And then you can go in there and that should be cool. Okay, so you two here, you there. And now if I want to stack of belts, that shouldn't be a problem. Boom, 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 boom. All the things good, nice. And then deployers, uh, should I be teaching you how to make deployers? You're going to need brass. Um, and then you're also going to need electron tubes. These are two other things that we're going to have to teach it how to make. Now that is going to be a sandpaper type of dude set up, again with a deployer if we want to automate it. Uh, or we can enrichment chamber it. Uh, it feels like so much cheating, though, doesn't it? Doesn't that feel like cheating? I feel like if I'm going to do all the automation otherwise with Create, I should do this one, too. Yeah, let's do this properly. Let's do it this way. Um, so first thing we're going to want to make is rose quartz. So let's go home and teach you some of these things. 
and be ready for this, right? So rose quartz, good. Um, polished rose quartz will be a uh, basically a pattern that's this that we're going to eventually have to put into um, a custom machine, okay? And then electron tubes will be this pattern. This goes into a normal crafter. Uh, brass plates we can make in the rolling machine or the metal press. So let's just do the rolling machine one. And we can stick that in here. Uh, we don't need to do the, the, the stamper from... Because we've got so many things that can do plates at this point. I don't think I need another mod doing plates. Right? Uh, now brass ingots... How do we want to make those? So we're not doing anything with brass yet, right? No, we're not. So how do we make brass ingots? Uh, there's, there's, Mystical Agriculture is an option. Uh, we can smelt up brass dust, which is copper and zinc dust. I might just go that route. Um, I might go that route. Or alternatively, I can put zinc and copper into a mixer with some heat under it and call it a day. Or we can alloy kiln it, or we could arc furnace it, or we could... Induction smelter it. Let's, 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 let's do it this way. Is that cool? But do you know how to make either of these? Copper or zinc dust? Probably not. So that could be the crusher. And then for zinc dust, that would also be a crusher for mechanism. Cool. So some things I'm doing the sneaky, cheaty way. Some things I'm not. Don't ask me to explain my rules. I don't have any rules. I just, you know, decide what I feel like doing and what I don't feel like doing. I want to do some things the create way. Other things, especially if I already have machines that can handle them, I'm like, eh, you know. Okay, so that all looks good. So that means I shouldn't have a problem getting brass. Uh, which means that I should be able to get a deployer now, right? Um, and then we're eventually going to want this andesite casing, which is going to be stripped oak logs, which are going to be, how do I automate that? I can deploy it with that. That's one way to do it. Manual item application. Sawing can do it. Yeah, we can do it that way. That seems fair. We'll do it the sawing way. Cool. And so that's that. That's that. So let me get a couple rose quartz. So let me get a fourth. And then we're going to want some sandpaper. I'll do the diamond grit one. Oh, you don't know how to make diamond dust? Uh, you can be in a crusher. I'm just assuming this has more durability. So this goes in the offhand. Doesn't matter which one's in which hand, I don't think. Yes, way more durability than normal sandpaper. Awesome. So now if I put you in there, does that mean you can make a deployer for me? If I teach you this, did I already do it? I did a deployer pattern, but I don't think I did the brass hand pattern, which is going to be you. In theory, that should be able to make four of those, right? Boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. That works. I think that's working. Beautiful. All right. So how about uh, what I'll do is coming off of here, we will have um, several um, several machines that will. basically be making things for me, right? So this will be like a production line. And we'll have the deployer 
facing downwards. Facing downwards in the middle. Is that cool? And I should be able to have multiples. Well, we're going to, yeah. So we're going to want you. What are the chances that I can go you to you? Oh, so close, but not quite. Uh, what I could have, though. That's not what I meant to do. What I could have is you to you. And then that'll power you. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Cool. All right. Um, and then what we're going to want, you know what else I want? Is the create... Uh, things that let you insert and extract items onto belts. What are those things called? Uh, tunnels and funnels. We're going to want those. Uh, so we're going to want shoots, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, we're going to want uh, possibly a basin, possibly a depot. But the thing I was really after was tunnels and funnels. Here's andesite tunnels. That's the basic one. Uh, the advanced ones require what? That. I might as well teach the recipe now because I know we're going to eventually want it. And then we might want tunnels at some point. We may or may not need tunnels. I don't know. We'll find out. Cool. So all this goes in here and you're craftable. Okay. So then uh, what we're going to have here then is a chest... And then underneath that chest, we'll probably have a crafter, okay? And then we'll have our funnels. Right, extracting items from the chest. And then let's give you some andesite alloy, right? I think I just click it here. Yeah, that's what's up, right? So for example, and again, I'm just going to put a chest here, but as a temporary. Eventually, that's going to be an interface, right? So crafter into chest, this into interface. And then if we put uh, stripped, let's just get some oak. So that goes in. Boom. Ha 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 ha, cool. Right now, you might be asking why I made this so wide. Remember, one of the things I'm going to want to do is this guy, which is a three step process. So I wanted to make sure that I had sufficient uh, stuff for three. Right. Thought that would be cool. So now we get uh, crafters. Right. And you can sit here. And then the this pattern goes in here. Stripped oak log turns into that. We're going to want interfaces. Probably going to want more of them. Okay, you're going to sit there. And then that's what our setup's going to look like. Cool? Cool. Okay. And then what I'm thinking is I probably don't need this at the moment. I'll probably expand out this way. And then we'll just like that. Good deal. So I know at least two more that I'm going to want, right? Well, one more, maybe two more, maybe three more. I haven't decided. And that should be pretty cool. Yeah? And then that's the pattern that we're going to, you know, go with. I like it. I think it looks good. We'll find out if I'm right. But I'm I'm thinking I'm right. I think I'm good. Should be good, right? Should be good. Find out eventually, maybe. Oh well, let's uh let's see. So now we're gonna want networky stuff over here, right? So we're gonna want some networking connectors, transmitter, receiver, card. Okay, transmitter is going to go down in a minute. Receiver is going to go down somewhere uh, in this general area. It doesn't super matter where, because uh, I'm going to eventually be doing a lot of things with this. Cool. Let's get some cables too.
we'll just stick our receiver here. Network card, click. Okay, and then you can come down here. And if I throw this guy in the basement, That's one thing I like about refined over applied energistics is how easy wireless is. Like applied energistics, really your best option for wireless is that is that quantum tunnel thing, which is cool for like really long distance. But when I want to do something like from here to there, I don't want to run cables that far. I mean, I could, right? I could, I just don't want to. Yeah. Um, you know, having these simple network connectors is is very nice. Okay, so you should be online then, right? Am I right? Am I right about that? You're online. So if I looked at, for example, casings, andesite casings are craftable, except for the fact that I don't have stripped oak logs. Cool. Okay. Uh, to make stripped oak logs, we're going to want the sawmill, right? Um, so let's make let's make one of those. It's been a while. Uh, since I've automated the sawmill. I'm thinking this one might be pretty easy. So you go there. How do we automate it? You can just drop items on, but that's not what we want to do. Not really. You can feed it like that. Okay. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. So effectively... What I could have, debating exactly how I want this to look and work, but I'm thinking what we would do maybe here ish. That could be cool. Da, 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 da. So you would be like this, but realistically, we would have something like this. And then the sawmill in the middle, right? And then we could have ears doing that. Is that kind of how it looked? I think so. And then that'll keep that thing running. That could do. That could do. Uh, my only concern is we're going to want our interface here, right? With our funnel. But then how do we get our... With this guy being here. Um, so what I could do... Yeah, you know what? I don't need you to be this. I could have you be... That. Right? That could work. That's an option. And then we could have our crafter here. And then our, this dude. And then our funnel, funnel thingy, All right? So now I put oak logs in here. Let's see if this behaves. You ready? That's cool. That works for me. Okay, so now this pattern goes in here and that looks good. I like that. I'd like it if I could make this be a little less ugly, this piece, but I'll probably come up with something better in a minute. Oh, and you also want to filter this guy, because uh, he can make other things. Uh, how do we filter him again? There's definitely a filter. Oh yeah, you're not... So you're making hollow oak logs or stripped oak logs. I want to filter you. Uh, that's not the right way. There it is, recipe filter. So if we put this in there, you'll guarantee to always get the stripped oak logs. Is that cool? So definitely do the recipe filter. 
because uh, there are multiple recipes here. I noticed this and was like, that's not right. I don't want those. Let's get, let's even just void them. They're, they're gone now. Okay, cool. Okay, that looks good to me. But then if I want, you know, stripped oak logs times 10, it'll insert into here and then we're good to go. Nice. All right, so that's feeling good. This part I don't love. It's a little ugly and hokey looking, but, you know, what you gonna do? Um, I'll figure something out for him. You know, if I wanted to, what I could do... No, not that. Probably just do this ish. That should work in theory, right? It's a little less hokey looking. Like a little less hokey looking. That looks good, right? I think that looks cool. Yeah, why not? That works. I like that. That's a little better looking, I think. A little bit. A little bit better working. All right. I'm cool with that. All right, I think it's wrapping up point for the episode. So let's wrap up here. Uh, come back next time. Hopefully this rain will go away. And uh, when we come back, continue down the create path. What I'd like to do next, now that we're, like, getting there with stuff, I'd like to do two things. One, I'd like to get close to being able to make... Uh, I want to finish automating this bit. Uh, I want to finish automating this bit because there's a step we missed, which is export bus and a site alley. That should be all there is to it. Um, and then we should work on being able to make these. And then all we need to do is start working on our crafters. And that should be cool, right? And then once we have our crafters in place, then we can start working on the Patrick Star and see what other things from Create will need... Uh, going forward. So probably one more episode of create work to get it to the point where we can make things and then we'll go from there. Does that sound cool? All right, for now, wrapping up point. Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode because uh, I sure did. I love create. I think it's just one of the most amazing and fun mods. Um, I really enjoyed my, my series where I did like, it was like all create. That was super fun. Even though I'm not great at it. I get it. Like I kind of, I'm not, I'm not amazing with the whole, you know, I'm, I'm getting better though. All right. Take it easy, guys.